For years, it's been the elephant in the room no one wanted to talk about, but PTSD and mental health are real issues, especially for our first responders. In Kentucky, calls for change have fallen on deaf ears. Last year, a bill would have expanded workers' comp protections, but it didn't gain any traction. Lawmakers are trying again this year. In other states like Florida, these bills have become law. Let's not forget these first responders are our constituents as well. Let's make sure that they are in their game, they're on the job, they're doing the right thing. It's an obligation of the state of Kentucky to take care of their first responders. State Representative Matt Wilhite says that he hopes Kentucky lawmakers will follow suit and pass this mental injury bill. He says he knows there is a concern among cities about the cost. It is a concern across the country. Rob Ravendahl was a firefighter in Nebraska. Just because you get the law doesn't mean that these people that are in opposition are going to stop fighting it. Oh, you're such a good dog. The journey is always easier with a buddy by your side. Pride is awesome. He's with me 24-7, 365. Let's get dressed, buddy. Pride is a service get dog. Get dressed. He was assigned to Ravendahl after his life at work came crashing down. Before that, I was very good about what happens at work happens at work and what happens at home happens at home. I, I kept a very clear boundary of that. For more than 20 years, Ravendahl says he was able to maintain those boundaries until one call broke him. October 24th of 2015, I responded to a uh, three-year-old child that, that uh, drowned in a swimming pool. I don't know how to say it other than I knew that call was different. Ravendahl says nightmares and emotional breakdowns followed. He wondered whether he was still fit to take on his duties as a first responder. My fear was is that if we had that same call that I would that I would break down in the call and then what would happen to my crew. He didn't want to hang up his helmet just yet. And under Nebraska state law, he was entitled to workers comp protections, meaning he could take time off to get the help he needed. He says his fire department had his back, but his city did not. In fact, my city had no problem even denying that the law existed, even when I presented them with the law. My story happened because I got a broken heart. After 18 months of suffering and struggle, he was out of time off and decided retirement was the best option he had. If I'm gonna come out and say I need help and then get financially ruined, we're not gonna come out and ask for help. Ravendahl hopes with more discussion and legislation, other first responders won't have to make the choice between their mental health and the career they love. Wow, what a career. I'd, I'd do it all over in a heartbeat. So this is the time to call your legislators and tell them that you want to back up our first responders. The author, Representative Joni Jenkins, says she needs a lot more support from state leaders. And we are in a very short session right now here in Kentucky, about 16 legislative days left. She said you only need five, but of course so much going on right now. If you want this to move forward, that conversation to continue, time now is to act. And we have all the information you need, whas11.com stressed.